um, the, the fire. We're going to head straight out for now. Uh, we can always come back here if we need to. Uh, give him the newspaper. Wherever the fuck it's gone. There it is. See you later, Jimmy. Hey, Steve. Bye. Right, TV station was fucked last night. Let's go and have a look at that first. Say, can you spare a dime for a buckaroo? Um, down on his luck. What the fuck? The whole shebang just went up in flames. And I'm looking to mosey on to greener pastures. Where the sunset's always golden. And there's always another savage to kill. Bye. Uh, what the fuck is that? He's like got his half his face hanging off. Two fires at once, though. What is inside the diner? Let's hope this crutchy doesn't fuck up. I've tried so hard to find an excuse to keep on fighting. But Karen and I can't go on alone any longer. She can't go What? Wait! This diner he left us was all we had. It was always a struggle to keep it running. In such a small town. Oh, God. And now we've lost it. I know that I can't afford to support us now. There's only one way out. I'm sure you won't be able to understand. The depth of despair that would enable Mother to put a rope around her baby's neck. Oh, she killed the body of shit! And she'll be after her. The mother fell her neck snow. If she kicks around. Oh, shit. So she killed them both, and they're both hanging there? Probably? Oh, holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Jesus Christ, that's not good. And he's just eating fucking pie. Is there a game called Dee's Diner? Dreamcast horror game, I want to say? Anyway, yeah. Uh, that was, uh, pretty depressing. Okay. Um, I guess we should talk to Mom about why we didn't do much at the bake sale. I don't know if she's going to be pissed at us or not, but Mom always seems to have something insightful to say, so let's go and have a word with her, shall we? Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. How are you today? The nerve of some people burning down the TV station to detract from our... Okay, so she knows. She knows. I doubt the perpetrator did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. Coincidence? I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a fire on the loose. Either that or a cop. Always a communist. Steve, I'm so scared. Uh, what's communism got to do with anything? Why are you scared? Now that the big sale's over, I just don't know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so useless. My goodness. Oh, God, what's she going to do to the baby? What's wrong with her? What? What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. You just pop it back in. Oh, oh shit! See? That tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Don't you think we should get her to a doctor? What for? She's got her mother. How silly I was feeling useless just because there are no more cookies to bake. I can still rear my brood. This is a sign, Steve. I have a purpose again. <sighs> Glad to see you're feeling better. 
Mine, that fire still burns my bridges. Oh, gosh. The newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then WHAR. I sense a pattern. And any pattern I can't make a dress out of is no darn good. Holy I shit, I was sorry about that. I DNA's diner burning down. Sheriff Dwayne thinks it was a grease fire. We took a black eye on the bake sale. But I'm sure the Harvest PTA annual blood drive will be more successful. Overall, we made about two hundred dollars. Hardly enough to bury a dead horse, and definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. Uh, annual blood drive? Annual blood drive, huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. Donations are mandatory, Steve. If you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. Until it hurts. Even Hank will have to donate. Of course, Lodge members are exempt. Remember that. Hey, either way, no one's sticking me with a needle. We don't use needles. Oh, gosh. Bye. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jim. I already did, you bitch. I hate you so much. I guess Lodge we'll talk to? I don't really know what to do. Uh, Lodge. Let's try here. DNA's diner is no more. As is Edna herself. She hung herself as soon as she realized what had happened to her beloved establishment. A true entrepreneur and a credit to her nation. Uh... I had no idea she'd kill herself. Come now. Anyone who spoke with her for five minutes would have known what a tragedy the destruction of her diner would be. Still, you sought to torch her diner, and torched it is. You have proved yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. Great. Candidate, I thought this was initiation. Fucked. Uh, uh, I'm still breathing from the whole baby thing, to be honest with you. Let's go and talk to Stephanie. Oh god, something's happening here. What the fuck is going on? Something bad's happened here? Maybe this is the- I guess we'll find out. Let's go inside. Guess I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? Your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow, you lucky bum. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. <sighs> Stephanie, Stephanie. Things will never be the same now. Guess I'll be watching TV nights. Oh yeah, that's so what you thought it was good for, right? What the fuck is going on? Okay. You can come in now, son. What the fuck? Oh, holy shit. Yep, it's a spinal cord. Is it oh. Stephanie? He's still fucking eating as well, the fuck? I can see a resemblance, but I can't be sure. More pie, Sheriff? Pie? Don't you realize what's happened? Oh, indeed I do. I, I can just hear the tongue wagging at the PTA. Was it suicide? Never heard of anyone putting their own spinal cord out before. Off the record, I'd have to say no. No, all in all, I'd say this was death by natural causes. What? Natural causes? What the fuck? You can't live without a spinal cord, son. Nothing unnatural about that. Yeah. Think I will have some more pie. Right away. 
I can't believe this. This is horrible. Believe me, you get to the point to where this is routine. Now the last clue we got is that card on our pillow. Take a look at it. Oh, I've been invited to join the order. That's my uh This is the order. Complete confession. Confession of what, son? Murder. Isn't that what you're here to investigate? Son, you don't investigate natural deaths. No point. Then I'll get to the bottom of this myself. So the fucking yeah. cult killed her or I'm some shit. Sure and they sent me an invitation at the same time. Oh, More Jesus Christ. Don't mind if I do. This is really fucked up, just generally. Just, I mean, I expect it to be, but fucking hell. Oh, do I have that thing now? I think I do. What the fuck? Okay. Right. Guess we're going to the lodge. He doesn't give a shit, does he? They're the fucking cunts. The lodge. Here we go. Okay, creepy man. Got this. So fuck you. Got a cutscene. Is this it? You received the invitation, but you have not brought it. What? What? I don't understand. The invitation was not. Uh, you expect me to steal the remains and bring them here? You were provided an invitation. Bring me the skull and spinal cord if you would pass to the world beyond. Okay, guess we're gonna have to rob that grave somehow. The one in the graveyard. Uh, fucking hell. Okay, let's just go. I thought this was nearly over, but clearly not. Well, not nearly. I thought we were getting inside. I'm pretty sure there must be more stuff inside, but... You know. Okay, so... How the fuck are we gonna get in here? I mean, this is like the fucking... Super fucking... Yeah, this is the right place. It's the Potsdam Family Crypt, so I'm assuming that's where she's going to magically be teleported to. Um... What do I have? Can we climb? Oh, do I have a ladder, right? Jesus Christ, that's not sound good. Right, yeah, ladder. Let's use the ladder on the crypt. Ah ha ha ha! And we have a skylight. Okay, um... What the fuck is that? Um... <laughs> well, that went well. <laughs> what the fuck? How do I attack? Okay, I've got a base for that. Awesome. Okay, so I do have a weapon. And right click is attack. Okay, here we go, guys. Come on, you fuck. Come on, you fuck. Come on. Yeah! What the fuck was that? Hi, Stephanie. Come with me. Bye. Holy fucking shit. That was pretty messed up again. I guess I should probably unequip this in case like someone stops me in the street. Okay, cool. At least I can pause the action and equip it if I need to. Because there's probably going to be more combat, I guess, later on. 
And the end up went pretty well, I'll tell you what I was doing. You know what I mean? The lodge. And we use her Stephanie's spine on the dude. And require that I turn over this sacred dagger to you to aid you in your quest. Okay, cool. What is this? It's an H. So we have to make all these props in real life. I just realized it's kind of cool. Are you supposed to help me or get me killed? I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. I am merely the administrator of a test. Whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass. And this thing? You haven't said what it is. It is a special weapon. Using it will be part of the initiation. Uh, fight. I'll use it if I have to. You always have a choice, initiate. Which choices you make matter only to you. Whatever occurs in here is relevant to the great question which you cannot help but answer. At issue is whether in answering the question you will find the answers you seek. You will encounter those intent on preventing or prompting your answer, depending on how you look at it. While the assumption is you want to live, dying is easy and provides its own answer, but not for you. Just tell me. Is Stephanie dead or being held within? The membership director on the second level keeps track of... I am going to have a choice, Stephanie, do Oh, great. Then you are against me. I am the sergeant at arms. I am here to ensure that the protocols are observed. Deviation from a protocol shall result in punishment. Remember what I have told you. Okay, I guess we got him. Now, let the initiation begin. Off we go.